growing up getting to know this special wonderful plant from god uh, it has also motivated me to start something in it because putting this particular mushroom in your food it can take you away from the doctor <music> Hello, good people of Ghana. This is your boy Nana Day, and welcome to Yen TV. Following the directives of the president, um, as Ghanaians, we need to consume our own uh, our own food. Mushroom was mentioned, and today we are talking to one lady who is into uh, large-scale production of mushroom, and that is what the conversation is about. We are going to talk to Mrs. Fafafa. Yes. Uh, uh, but uh, how are you doing? I'm doing very well. You're welcome. Thank you so much. And nice having you on our show. Thank you. Thank okay. You. Okay. So let's get the, the, the whole conversation rolling. Uh, who is Mrs. or Madame Fafafa? Thank you very much. Mrs. Fafafa Fue is the CEO of E90 Ghana Limited. Okay. We are one of the biggest and the largest producers of mushrooms here in Ghana. Mm -hmm. And she's a graduate from University of Ghana. I graduated with MPhil in accounting. And currently, I'm into mushroom business and also accounting. Yes. <laughs> Accountant. And how come you have to uh, get into farming? How, how did you Well, it's a passion. I have uh, my parents... Uh, uh, very much interested in farming, so I pick it up from there also. And also growing up, getting to know this special, wonderful plant from God, uh, it has also motivated me to start something in it. Because putting this particular mushroom in your food, it can take you away from the doctor. And I, I believe that having its raw materials readily available and then the nutritional values of mushroom, there is no other doubt that this is the right business for me. You know, a lot of people after school are looking for this white collar job, like you mentioned, the accountant. So, yeah, you prefer to be in the office rather than uh, working through the sun, trying to pull things together to, to make something of your own, which is a business. At what point of your life did you decide that I want to do this? Well, it came later in the later parts of my career after my master's and uh, I've realized that I have to do something. Then I was uh, e uh, elected as the women's commissioner. So I needed to do something to show my other graduates that apart from the white collar job, you can earn a living out of something, entrepreneurship. So I started there and aside the challenges and, and everything, it's been good so far. I've been to places with mushrooms that I've never thought of, of going or where my profession didn't take me there. I, I, I went there and it's been a, a reward journey so far well this is super super interesting and okay so now let's even look at the journey the journey as in starting the mushroom farming how, how did you all start about and uh, what were some of the challenges you had to encounter at the early stage of it thank you first of all I must say that the technical know-how uh, wasn't there so quickly I went to the food research where I learned how to produce the mushrooms. And I started with 10 bags. I bought it from somewhere. And when I started, the way they were coming out, very fresh, and people uh, were like, oh, we cannot find a fresh one, uh, you know. So I saw the gap that, oh, people really need fresh mushrooms to buy. And uh, looking at their nutritional values and what people are dying to have mushrooms in their diet, uh, I started and I started producing the bags myself. So now I have a capacity of producing all over 50,000 bags per production cycle. And for the challenges, the challenges are going to be there. They are enormous, uh, ranging from the technical uh, know-how, people to help you, the extension officers to help you, uh, to finance how you want to expand quickly and also the employees handling of the employees and all that the challenges have been there but all the time it's a learning curve so when it happens you learn and you move on when you stay at one place that is where you, you you'll be a failure 
But as, as they come, as the challenges come, you devise new ways of tackling them and you move on. And so far, it's been good. It's been good. Now, I have a very six huge, as you can see, six huge production facilities. The first of its kind in, in the greater Accra region. Now, let's look at the market for it. Do you have the market that you are into the large production of it? Interestingly, we do have market for it because more and more people are realizing that they need to stay away from meat-related diets mm -hmm. and go for more plant-based nutritional diets. So uh, now with the lifestyle-related diseases like diabetes, hypertension, this is one of the best foods that you can introduce to your immune system to help you. So more and more people are getting to know of the mushroom and are introducing it into their diet. So the market keeps increasing, especially for even vegans. This is their number one source of protein and fiber. So the market is there. It's a matter of you outdooring the product to them and making them aware that you have this product. And they will patronize, especially the hotels, the hotels and the restaurant, the Chinese restaurant. They know of the values of yes. this miraculous plant. So uh, it, it's an important part of their diet at all times. So all the time we do have demand for the product. Okay, now let's let's look at some uh, importance. I think you did mention some, but then can you elaborate more on some of the uh, importance of consuming this as uh, as a, a substitute to let's say meat and other stuff? It has been well established in even the medical fields mm -hmm. that mushrooms contains vitamins, minerals, protein, and fiber, and a very important antioxidant called selenium. And this particular selenium is only present in mushrooms, which helps to prevent cancer cells from growing in our bodies. So a constant intake of mushroom can, can take away cancer from your, from your bloodstreams. Mm. And also B1, B6, and B9 are all parts of the nutritional values of mushrooms. So undeniably, this is a very nutritional plant or vegetable that can help prevent the COVID-19, as our president said. Okay, and I'll, yes. I'll, I'll, I'll get back to that very one where the, the president made mention of consuming our local uh, uh, product, our local food, and mushroom was mentioned. How do you take that very news or that very mentioning from the president? I think it's an eye opener to all of us. Those who are not yet aware of this miraculous plant, this is the time for them to look at what is available to them and then take advantage of it. Our forefathers and grandfathers, they know of mushroom, they know the importance of mushroom. So all the time, seasonally, you see them consuming mushroom, you ask yourself, why were they living so long? And now at the age of 30, 40, we are recording diabetes, hypertension, high cholesterol it's because of the food we put into our bodies so if we can also go back and look at the foods they are, they were taking that were making their lives longer and then we adapt these life changes i think the president being uh, above a certain age knew the importance of mushroom that is why he mentioned it so it's an eye opener for both the youth and those who are a little older to look at mushroom to prolong their lifespan. Okay, now let's get a bit into the technical aspect of it. We will get to the processes you go through to be able to produce the mushroom. But then, uh, not forgetting that, just like you mentioned that you have about six uh, production facilities. Let's talk about labor. How many people have you been able to employ as a result of your passion to get into this farming? Yeah, so far we have about 12 workers. We have uh, from the compost, we have different phases. So we have from the composting, then we do the bagging of the compost when it is ready. We sterilize. After sterilization, then we inoculate the bags. That is a term that we use when you have to put the seed on into it. Uh, into it. And then you incubate. And then this is the final stage. You take your mushrooms fresh and you eat them and you enjoy it so it's labor intensive but the um, 
uh, I must say the rewards uh, outweigh the, the labor. And it's an opportunity to give employment to a lot of people because we source the raw materials locally mm -hmm. and they are very cheap. Talking of, we use sawdust, rice bran, which are all waste in the environment, which causes pollution. So if we are using all these materials to produce something nutritional that can rather help the population, I think we are in the right business because uh, air pollution and all that are rated to be the number one causes of cancer, yeah. be it breast cancer or all other things. So if we can put all these things together and then produce something that can rather help our immune system, I, I think the government should look at us and promote the mushroom industry. Okay, now let, let's look at the future. Uh, are you looking in terms of getting some funding to support yourself? Or you just want to carry this uh, all by yourself and do the production? Do you have also any means or any plans of exporting it or like creating more uh, avenues where others from other countries can also come to you for this very product? Thank you. As an individual, um, almost about five years now, I've moved steadily to this level. But I think with the support of uh, government and other uh, uh, development partners, we'll be able to expand to a, set, a, a stage where we can export in huge volumes mm -hmm. and give employment to a lot of women and, and the youth and also um, uh, promote uh, healthy eating in, in, in the country because if it is what is available um, becomes the preferred. So if it is not available, then people will give that excuse that they can't get it to buy. Mm -hmm. So if government will support and we expand and more people come into the industry, it will, it will, it will boost the GDP of, of the economy. And I think the government needs to look at us. And also, um, um, outsiders, let's say other countries, European countries and, and the Arab countries, they know the values of, of mushroom. So all the time we are receiving orders for, for, for mushroom, but because of the capacity, you, you, you are limited to accept all these offers. So a, a, a good intervention from the government will help us to expand beyond the borders of Ghana. Let's look at it finally. Uh, we have some um, graduates who are done with school and have joined uh, associations like the Unemployment Graduates Association and, and the so forth. What would be your word to uh, those group of people with regards to being able to venture into something that they will do by themselves? Thank you very much. Uh, most of the times when we complete, we have this, uh, the mindset that we need to be employed rather than to employ. And there is gold in everything that we do in every idea that you have there is gold inside who knows that this waste that is causing a lot of pollution here and there is something that is bringing an economic benefit to me and i'm extending it to other families that are depending on on, on this business for their livelihood so i want i want to encourage all graduates that look within your environment what is it that the people need that you can provide yourself and then before you know you you are employing yourself and employing others so it's a challenge i'm throwing to them that let's look uh, you know around ourselves let's look at what people need and then you can turn what you have into what they want and you make some money out of that Okay, so finally talking about the novel uh, COVID-19, uh, it's had so much impact on a lot of people, a lot of businesses. Uh, we want to take it from your angle. What has been the impact of COVID-19 on your business as a growing uh, uh, business? Well, I had a fair share of it. Most of my clients, which are the hotels, have closed down. Uh, as a result of the closure of the borders, they are not receiving uh, clients and all that. So I had a fair share of it. But the local demand is, so, is, is sustaining us. Okay. The local are, are really taking the mushroom. So that is uh, sustaining us for now. But we are very hopeful that after, after the COVID-19, uh, this our major clients will open and then we'll, we'll, we'll have our booming business back. Uh, but this is an opportunity for, for all Ghanaians to enjoy what we grow. 
in, in, in our own land. Let's not look for canned mushrooms from China and all that, because this also contains a lot of nutrients that is very beneficial to our own immune system.